risk, son. This is not going to be good, is it? Value of a housewife, number one. Oh, 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 I can tell this is going to be comedy gold already. Let's see how they be mean women now. The reason for this great difference in price is the cost of transporting the food from a warm climate where it can be grown in winter to the market, which may be several hundred miles distant. What the fuck is going on here? How does it have to do with anything with the housewife, like delivery and shit? And vegetables are in season We're talking about vegetables here. Throughout the year. It will be more are we going to see a woman in the kitchen? Because isn't this what it's all about, Valley of a Housewife? Time. Not being sexist here, but this is the 1950s, PSA. You may find that you can save money by doing your own preservation of foods. Home canned food will usually cost less than commercially canned. And if the housewife's time is not too highly valued... Not too highly valued? Fuck you! Frozen foods are the nearest thing to fresh foods available. They are convenient, easily prepared... Your own personal possible, sex robot will we'll go to the store and get your time. shit. This price is partially offset by the fact that there is no waste. Because they're not allowed to vote yet, I think. There are various meats. Hey, ma'am, where's your husband at? Ranging from the most tender, I'm so most sorry. cuts, <laughs> to the equally nutritious but less tender portions of the animal, which are sometimes ground or chopped. That looks disgusting. At this point, the cooking ability of the housewife becomes highly important. Marge, is the food ready yet? No, hon. It doesn't take much. Okay, I'll be doing manly things over here. An expensive T-bone steak. But the sign of an accomplished cook is an attractive and tasty dish made from less expensive meat. Hamburger. And Spam. Frankfurters. And Spam. Even a well-prepared, well-seasoned stew is a dish a housewife can be proud to set before her family. Because that's her only job, to, value to uh, please her family. The Fuck the and 50s. Small proportion of the tender cuts causes them to be priced higher. Milk is an important part of every good diet. The fuck? Why did it cut off? Really? Really? Buying food? How to be well groomed? Okay, how much energy does a housewife use in a day? Let's... Okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> uh. Here's to the ladies, the fair and the weak. The there fair are, in a week. We'll admit, there we go off with a bang. Already week. was a sexist shit. Our modern girls play as hard and with as much vitality and stamina as any man. How do they do it? Where do they find all that energy? That seemingly inexhaustible store of pep and ginger? That whipcord resilience that lets the weaker sex play half the night. Then the weaker sex. Okay. The then. This frail creature strikes her type. Frail. About four Buddy. Times what the shit? Spaces seven thousand times. It's like you're making it seem she doesn't know how to use a typewriter. Like the first time she's ever using it. Thousand times each. Oh, good All job, honey. Here, a time, have a lollipop. She exerts more than five tons of pressure on her dainty fingertips in one day's Dainty work. fingertips. And any way you look at it, women's work is not for sissies. Most men would have a hard time of it if they were to change jobs with wife, mother, or girlfriend. The homemaker walks miles every day. The homemaker walks spot, miles every day, huh? And from kitchen to dining table. Are they not allowed to wear regular shoes? Do you have Let's to use have high heel shoes? Special photography to compress the whole job of preparing a meal into a few seconds of time. To see how many steps it really takes to get dinner on the table. She must get dinner Remember, ready for Leave It to Beaver. She's, she's about to come in any time now. Is that what you'd call a blitz meal? Even an efficiency expert would be staggered by the amount of chasing around and indoor road work that the little woman takes as a matter of course. The little woman, the huh? Stair climbing event, for example. This shit is accomplished awful. And with an armload of brooms, mops, blankets, and sundry household pants. Can she not wear pants Here's while doing all this? Picture of she has to be in a fucking dress. Through a day's program that would leave the average mountaineer gasping for breath. 
Each trip upstairs is the equivalent of lifting her own weight 12 feet. And at the rate of 20 trips a day, that's lifting about 12 tons of weight. Who said weaker sex? Ironing is another kind of work that's a lot of little jobs all rolled into one. Just to iron one of Hubby's shirts, for instance. Hubby's shirt? iron may have to be lifted 20 or 30 times. 20? You condescending a asshole! It weighs about <laughs> as much as a brick. A day's ironing actually uses just about as much muscle as bricklaying. Flattening a towel or wielding a trowel. Even Stephen. Had your iron today, lady? Because men are beginning to realize how much lifting and pushing the little woman has to do around the house, little more woman. more muscle I'm not savers have been designed say. to make the Fuck. little jobs <laughs> easier. It's one thing to make 6,000 separate scrubbing motions over a what tub of What the fuck are you scrubbing in? What the fuck is that shit? That does all the work. Here's another example of sheer brute force. Now, let's make a super scientific test. You'll notice that this girl is wearing a very special thimble. In fact, it isn't a thimble at all, but a gadget of springs and levers to measure the amount of force needed to sew on a button. And it's called an ergometer. You don't say! According to the ergometer dial, it takes 18 units of force to push the needle through the cloth just once. In sewing stitch by stitch, Bruh. work adds up. Bruh. Any man I want to see her do some heavy lifting, like to his attention in the go to the right warehouse way. and do some real and shit. Because this is some attention. condescending shit. <laughs> this hurry up picture shows that a stitch in time doesn't always save nine. And anyway, who wants to save nine stitches when a machine can do all the work? Skynet will take over is really one day. an amazing invention. Especially when you stop to think that a man invented it. Yet it's simple. Oh my God! Her mind has Please exploded. A man has invented it. The first time on a theater screen, we can all see exactly what goes on inside a sewing machine. Well, there's the needle with a little loop of thread running through the eye. That's not it. Inside? What the fuck? How does this shit keep on cutting off? Who's putting this shit on YouTube and cutting off this crap? Anyways, that's enough riffing for now. Take it easy, humanoid nation. Bye. Bye.